Hi guys, it's Miss Goggins. Welcome back to our Digital Learning Day, Day 2. Um, today I wanted to talk to you guys about shapes. And now I know what you're thinking. Oh, we can't talk about shapes. We don't, we're not in class where we have our pattern blocks, where it's easy to count the sides and be able to touch it, and paper and pencil where we can draw it on the board. And, but you know what, guys? There are shapes all around us, and I bet you didn't even know it. There are shapes all throughout my house which is where I'm at right now and I'm actually going to go on a little shape scavenger hunt just to show you we don't have to be at school we don't have to have our little pattern blocks to be able to learn we can learn just like this all right so let's go ahead and get started um, I'm actually going to show you a different shape than what we've been talking about before we left because I know we've been talking about triangles and quadrilaterals pentagons and hexagon but I know you know what this shape is so you know that an octagon has eight sides and eight angles, like a stop side. But look at this one right here. I still see eight sides and eight angles. Let's check. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And guess what? If it has eight sides, since it's a closed polygon, it should have eight angles. Let's touch the points. All right, do it with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now, we know that this does not look like a stop sign, but again, if it has eight sides and eight angles, it's still an octagon, all right? Let's look at a shape that does not have any sides or any angles. We know this to be a circle. Now, this is one of my dinner plates that I can eat off of, and I'm sure you have plates too, and you've always looked at them and be like, oh, plates are kind of circular-ish. I've seen some plates that are even a little, have a little square or a rectangle shape to them, so that would make them quadrilateral. So some plates have no sides and no angles, but some of them, maybe they do. I just don't have any. But let's see, let's keep going. Let's go to my refrigerator. All right, if you look at my refrigerator, I have some Minute Maid watermelon juice. And let's look at the carton on here. Let's see. Let's count together and see what kind of shape it is. One, two, three, and four. Four sides, and let's see how many angles. One, two, three, and four. So if it has four sides and four angles, it has to be a quadrilateral. Now, we have been naming some of these shapes as we know that this has two sides that are shorter but are the same and two sides that are longer but are also the same same length so we call these rectangles but we know not all quadrilaterals are the same like not all quadrilaterals are rectangles sometimes they're squares sometimes they're trapezoids sometimes they're they're anything that has four sides so we can just name this a quadrilateral and I like to call these special shapes with special names it has it's also a rectangle. All right, let's change it. Let's turn it. I can turn this shape into a pentagon. Let's look at the sides on this one. Follow my finger. Ready? One, two, three, four, and five. So it has five sides. Let's check the angles. One, two, three, four, and five. So if it has five sides and five angles, we call it a pentagon. Look, let's change it one more time. Let's get a little closer. Let's just look at the top part of the carton. Ready? One, two, and three. And one, two, three angles. So if it has three sides and three angles, we call it a triangle. All right, let's keep going. Let's go to my little dining room. I have a little cute sign here. And let's look at its sides and see how many we have. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, and six. It has six sides. Let's check the angles. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, and six. So if it has six sides and six angles, what is it? A hexagon. All right, let's keep going. Go to my living room. Let's see. I have some decorative signs up here close to my TV, but it looks like a house to me. Ready? One, two, three, four, and five. So again, five sides. What was that called again? Oh yeah, that's right, a pentagon. 
All right, let's go and look down here. I have a little candle, it has a holder, but let's take a closer look. I see what we would have is a picture frame. Looks like kind of like a regular square picture frame. So let's count this size, ready? One, two, three, and four. So we talked about quadrilaterals. They don't always have to look the same. They could be rectangles, squares, trapezoids, parallelograms, but again, let's look closer. I see more lines in here and I can break it down to its, if I were to take this piece off, let's look at this size, ready? One, two, three, and four. So again, four sides and one, two, three, four angles, but it looks different. It's not a rectangle, it's not a square, that is what we call a trapezoid. All right, let's keep going. So, um, let's keep looking. I have down here at my coffee table, I have a lot of different shapes. All right, so again, another quadrilateral that looks different, like a parallelogram, ready? One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four angles. Oh look, there's a little triangle. One, two, three, and then one, two, three. Triangle. All right guys, so I have went around my house and found a lot of different shapes. I would love to hear about all the different shapes you find in your house and when we see you back in a couple weeks, I can't wait to hear about all the different things that you've discovered. Have a great week, bye.